Hello, Heartland fans. Graham Mordell, a local of Mission, English Columbia, grew up near Vancouver in New Westminster. When he was six years old, he and his mother unknowingly found themselves in a room full of children waiting for auditions, which was the start of his unexpected journey into acting. Graham tried it out and was selected for a toy commercial. This experience lighted his energy for acting, driving him to show up in different TV programs, for example, the new Adam day-to-day -day life as far as we might be concerned, and heavenly. Nonetheless, Graham's future took a turn in 2003 when he experienced a blackout while playing on the debut New Westminster High Up football crew. He decided to enroll in Capilano University's motion picture and production program in Vancouver despite his interest in acting and the arts. He actively participated in the creation of numerous films during his time there, which culminated in his 2007 graduation. Graham achieved a significant milestone in 2007 when he appeared alongside Meg Ryan and Adam Brody in the movie In the Land of Women. He also got the lead role of Ty Borden in the CBC series Heartland that year, and he has played that role ever since. Notwithstanding the series, Graham began in the Heartland film A Heartland Christmas, delivered in 2010. He was nominated for a Leo Award in 2009 and a Leo Award in 2010 for his outstanding performances in the Heartland episodes Summer's End and The Starting Gate, respectively. Heartland, a beloved family show set on picturesque range in the picturesque foothills of Alberta, Canada, is based on a book series by Lauren Brooke. Ty Borden, a troubled young professional who finds solace and support in the close-knit family of Jack Bartlett, Lou Fleming, and Amy Fleming, is portrayed by Graham. Tay goes through a transformational process throughout the series, becoming a positive role model. Graham has communicated his pride in working on a show that spotlights on family values, self-awareness, and the intricacies of human relationship. Graham was committed to Heartland, but he also worked on other projects. He showed up in movies, for example, Yesterday, a ghastliness zombie film coordinated by Lute Award, as well as Mon, Amy, Extraordinary, and Grave Halloween. His popularity as an actor has grown as a result of his versatility and talent. Beyond his acting vocation, Graham is an energetic inspiration who tries to further develop his own background while rousing others to lead solid and satisfying ways of life. He finds happiness in understanding when inside and participates in open-air exercises like trekking, running, snowboarding, and working out. In addition, he actively lends his support and time to charity events and fundraisers. For instance, he assisted his former football team in traveling to the United States to play. Graham was a firm believer in the significance of sharing one's blessings and giving back to the community. Graham devoted himself to numerous charitable endeavors in 2013. He raised assets for Men of Trust, an association supporting survivors of sexual maltreatment, and take part in the Calgary Pineapple Challenge Long Distance Race to bring issues to light for leukemia disease. He also actively participated in flood relief efforts. Graham organized events like Heartland for High River to help the town of High River in Alberta recover from the devastating floods. He invited fans to the Heartland studios to meet the cast, bid on items in the auction, and raise money for the town. He also presented at the Hallow High Water Benefit Concert in Calgary and participated, I believe, in the AgriFair fundraiser for Alberta. Along with his friend, Don McLeod, Graham co-founded Cruise with a cause out of a desire to make a difference. In August 2013, they held a gala at night to kick off the fundraising campaign, which was followed by a six-day bike ride across British Columbia. During their excursion, they met with supports and the general population to bring issues to light and assets for the BC Prostate Establishment, zeroing in on prostate disease. Graham was able to explore his talent beyond acting despite his busy schedule. He built the vessel as part of the Crazy AIDS Project in 2012. From his unassuming starting points in English Columbia to his outcome in Heartland and different endeavors, he keeps on motivating crowds and have a constructive outcome in both media outlets and the local area. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications. You'll never miss a new video in this way, and you'll be the first to know when we post new videos. Be sure to subscribe and enable notification right away if you don't want to miss out on any of our frequently updated news.